over the weekend, I went to uh, a, a, just an amazing, a phenomenal event. Uh, it was a charity event for retired NFL great Super Bowl winner, Kurt Warner. Um, and I was out there in Arizona, and Kurt Warner's son, Kurt and, and uh, Brenda Warner's son, he is developmentally disabled and legally blind. His name is Zach. And Kurt and his wife, Brenda, they bought an old hotel. Someone donated the land. It had a hotel on it. They bought the hotel and they opened it up for kids with special needs. And it is, it, it's so wonderful. This hotel, it's called Treasure House. And it gives the kids the support they need to live independently and pursue their dreams. And it is the first of its kind in the country because normally when kids have to go to a, a you know, live in a house, a facility, it's institutional or maybe one or two, you know, kids in a house. They have 35 rooms. They have their own bathrooms. The, you know, they have people set up to cook, life coaches, and they all have to have a job to go to every day. So the kids I met there were so confident and independent, and they loved it. And this weekend, I emceed a fundraiser for the Warners that they threw to fund Treasure House, and their goal is to build places like this all over the country. And um, they raised... <laughs> they raised hundreds of thousands of dollars for this uh, organization. And one of the reasons was they raised so much, they had the silent auction. But Kurt signed some footballs. I don't have my football here. But he signed some footballs, and people paid $1,000 for Kurt Warner to throw the football to them. So, you know, Kurt Warner, he, so women who paid, they were like, don't throw it to my nails, you know, throw it underhand <laughs> so they can catch the ball. But men, y'all are funny. They paid the $1,000, but they were like, let me go all the way outside so you can throw the ball <laughs> all the way here. And they, so he would throw it across the entire room all the way outside to the men. So at, the men were doing stretches and warming up because they wanted to get catch a ball that was thrown by Kurt Warner. And uh, so they could be able to say that. But then somebody paid $1,000 dollars for me to catch a football. And I said, uh, I don't catch balls. I... <laughs> That's not what I do. <laughs> I said, I got a gown on. I am emceeing this event. Nothing about me says I catch balls. All right. <laughs> So everybody started chanting, Sherry, Sherry, Sherry. So I was like, okay, then I guess I gotta do it. So I stood up, and the only thing I was thinking, because Kurt didn't put, he didn't went and put on gloves so he could throw this football. I said, who you think you're passing the ball to? <laughs> so, but the only thing I was thinking is, because I was all the way in the back of the room, was I just got a breast reduction. Please don't hit me in my boobs. And, of course, he tossed that ball so hard, and I caught it with my chest. And um, I brought a video <laughs> of me catching this daggone ball. Take a look. Jerry, you can do it. Oh! 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 So I got my Kurt Warner, number 13. He signed it for me right here. And I'm tell you, my chest is still bruised with the... <laughs> with the beautiful memories of why I was there. I don't ever want to play football. Again. But that was, like, so amazing because parents go through this thing. If you know of anybody who has a child with uh, disabilities, you know, once you age out of the high school system and, you know, a lot of parents go through, what next? What, what is my child going to do now? God forbid something happened to me. I go through that every night, waking up thinking about Jeffrey. And the Treasure House is answering um, that. There's a waiting list, but go check it out. It is the most amazing facility I've ever seen. And the kids, one little girl there, she said, Sherry, you are my idol, and I want to be just like you. Brought me to tears. Um, so thank you, Kurt and Brenda, for having me. But, y'all, another thing that happened. I was out there in, in Arizona, and I met a gentleman out there. Um, and we were sitting... Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. We were sitting at the bar. And I remember the other day we had a dating expert on, Monique Kelly. And she said that you have to be open to new ways of dating. 
So here I am, I said, instead of going up to my room, I'm gonna sit here at the bar and just have a really, just have a good time and be open. So there's a guy, he came so good looking. He came and he sat next to me. He works in real estate, he's a real estate agent. And we were talking, and when I tell you the conversation was so cool, we were having such a good time. He was so sweet, so handsome. And then he started mentioning his daughter. And he was talking about his daughter, and then he mentioned uh, his daughter's sister. And I was like, oh, okay, two teenage daughters, that'll be good, we can make TikToks together. That's great. <laughs> and then he kept talking, he started mentioning other kids. And um, then he was like, and, you know, and dialing this, and, and then this one, that. And, and you know, he was mentioning these kids. And I said, excuse me, how many kids do you have? And he said, he has seven kids. Yeah. And let me tell you, I was like a dude. I was like, oh, hell no. No, this is me. <laughs> no, sir, no, sir. When I tell you my interest dried up like it was like the Sahara Desert all over me, I said, no, sir, you looking, you're not looking for a girlfriend, you looking for a baby mama. I'm the new. <laughs> That is not me. I'm not a with babysitter. A babysitter. <laughs> exactly. It wasn't. I said it was very nice to meet you, but I think I'm good. And he was like, well, let me pay for your drink. I was like, no, 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 because a kid come with that. No, sir. <laughs> <laughs>